Hey, Alan, you want to catch a movie tonight? Can't. I am taking a lady friend to the Hollywood Bowl for a romantic evening under the stars with Michael Buble and three runners-up from American Idol. What's in the bag? A noose? No, it's a picnic basket. A fried chicken, a bottle of Merlot, and my autograph hound in case I get lucky. Why don't you take Jake to the movies? No, I don't like him anymore. Okay, then why don't you take one of your many... Oh, let's call them girlfriends. Well, I could, but after the movie, I gotta bring him back here, and after I get him back here, I gotta get him upstairs, and after I get him upstairs, I gotta get him to go home. It just doesn't seem worth the effort anymore. You know, it's possible you might enjoy your dates more if you went out with women who were capable of using their head for something other than a place to rest their ankles. What are you saying? Too subtle. I'm saying you might have a better time if you were seeing someone who had a fully formed personality or was even remotely age appropriate. Define age appropriate. 40. Are you out of your mind? Come on, Charlie. The woman I'm seeing now is 39 and we have a wonderful time together because we have so much in common. We can talk, we can share, we can laugh. Talking, sharing, and laughing is fine, but what about her ears? What about them? Ears never stop growing, Alan. And I like a nice, taut lobe. This conversation is over. I will see you later. Why do you think old ladies wear big earrings? They make their ears look smaller. I'm the only one who's noticed. I'd like to make a toast to my wife. Darling, you've given me the happiest 20 years of my life. Why? Was she in a coma? I can't imagine living without you. You complete me. Bet she's got a set of ears on her. Oh, yeah. You could swat flies with those things.